Incorporated, trained by Jordan Myers and driven by Jim Marone Jr. Number two, Call Me Jate for the Oldfield Farms Incorporated, Dick Oldfield, the trainer, the driver is Bob Harper. Number three, Junior Mint for the Jack Darling Stables Limited, Brittany Farms and Dan Smith, trained by Jack Darling with Dave Miller. Number four is Dream Wave for Katz, Goldban, and Libfell, trainer Brett Pelling, Mark O'Meara. Number five, Canyon Wind for the Shure Racing Stable and Valdor Farms, trained by Steve Elliott, Chip Noble. Number six is Articulator, all by HBC Horner and Claude Inquado, trained by Brett Pelling, Don Irvine, Jr. And number seven, Matt Hershey, all by D. Lloyd Matheson, trained by Norm Parker, Patrick Berry in the sulky behind Matt Hershey. No changes in the 10th race, 8th and pace. They're all lined up in behind the gate, and here they come. And they're off and call me Jade, being sent out for the lead by Bob Harper. From the inside is Lakota Hall, who's gotten away in second and moving up on the outside. Articulator for Don Irvine, Jr. Dave Miller pretty careful with Junior Mint behind the gate, keeping him about half a length off, and he's fourth on the inside as they pace around the opening turn. Racing in fifth as they head toward the quarter is Dream Wave. And then settling sixth in behind him is Canyon Wind. Matt Hershey will have to do it from last where he trails the field. And there's straight alignment as they pace through the opening panel in 28 and 3. It's Call Me Jade as they hit the backstretch articulator. Not content with the pocket. An impressive brush from him as Irvine guns him on to the front. About four lengths further back racing in third is Lakota Hall as they head down the backstretch. Then it's Junior Mint who tips to the outside from fourth. Canyon Wind picks up his live cover to follow. Racing in sixth on the inside is Dream Wave. And still at the trail of the field, Matt Hershey, who is last as they reach the half-mile marker. Articulator is there in 56 and 4. But here comes pressure in the form of Junior Mint on the outside. And Junior Mint is right on Articulator's wheel as they head on to the far turn. Call Me Jade is now locked in the box third. Canyon Wind has carved out a nice trip for Chip Noble. He's second over on the outside and has live cover to follow as Junior Mint is right at the throat of Articulator and Canyon Wind poised to go three deep on the outside. Call Me Jade is locked in on the inside. Racing in fifth is Matt Hershey off three quarters in one twenty-five and three and the field comes to the top of the stretch and Junior Mint is still trying to keep pace but on the lead Articulator is strong and he's two lengths clear. Canyon Wind has kicked off cover. He's looking to rally up into it. Call Me Jade is there as well. And Dream Wave on the outside. Digging in on the inside is Articulator. Canyon Wind coming. Junior Mint between horses. A wild finish here. Very tight Articulator appeared to hold off Canyon Wind in a photo with Junior Mint third in one fifty-two and 3. So that equals his career mark. In the winner's circle, we welcome Dr. J, Brigitte Jablonski, who is the general manager of Hanover Shoe Farms. And we've enjoyed her work in hoofbeats as well on a regular basis. Dr. Brigitte Jablonski making trophy presentation for the 10th race to the connections of Articulator and driver Don Irvine, Jr.